So it's interesting that the two of you are sharing this room based on your childhood and you. Yeah, we had a chance to talk, talk about, about it and about it's by our, similar by our past, our past. Our family, yeah. and, um, the choices they made and why they made it and all that thing. Yeah. That kind of get me questioning about, you know, like I mentioned before, my relationship with people and how would I interact with them when I'm older if I if my family abandoned me from a young age, what that say about me in person and how would I do that? Um, yeah, and how you get up from abandonment, how you build yourself from scratch and and how you, you, you create the way you build relationships with others after it. Mm -hmm. And the sense of closeness and also distance and mm -hmm. everything is just um, especially like now. Yeah. To it wasn't, I don't think it's that acceptable now, but back in the day it's quite acceptable, especially with the Asian family. In our culture, it's, in our culture, it's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like, it's so easy to abandon someone, but then expect to go back and rebuild everything be again, be normal, and, be normal again. but they're not really questioning how the child would react to that in a way. And yeah, and I don't know for you, but in my family, it's like, we don't talk about it. Mm. You never express it and you don't conceptualize it, you don't materialize it, it just stays silent. Mm -hmm. So there is, a, I guess, a deep sense of solitude and what do you make with your solitude? Mm -hmm. But I, in a way, I'm, I'm grateful that I was left over in Thailand so I kind of learned both of the culture, like taking the sensitive side and of the Asian and then came over to England a bit more, not aggressive, a bit more broaden in a way like interaction and because in, in Thailand Asian people really respect elderly and mm -hmm. in England it's just like not really that it's important, different. just different. Yeah. How did you get to England and how did you get to Paris? Um, for me actually uh, my parents, especially my dad was involved in the Tiananmen massacre in 89 so he basically he and a group of his decided to support the students and finance them and to help them organize the manifestations and the revolts. So basically when it turned really bad, they all had to flee and so they left. And France was the first country to open the doors to the refugees from Tiananmen. And I was four at the time and <laughs> it's like a crazy story. He, um, he asked, um, what, with the help of French politicians and uh, Chinese mafia, uh, he created a road out for the students and also the children like myself and yeah we went to Palestine boat trip not involved in plane to Paris. <laughs> wow and yeah. so you've been here since you were four though? Actually yeah I was here when I was four and then I went to Australia when I was 14 for three years because my dad went to Australia and he wanted me to go there but as soon as I went there he uh, left spent three years by myself in Australia before coming back to Paris. <laughs> wow. That's all my life yeah. was. <laughs> it's no wonder your collection is about protection. Yeah. Soft and, and protection. Like being home wherever Makes you strong. And how did you get to England? Oh well, mine a bit more simple. <laughs> but um, basically, my mom and dad. Well, my dad English, my mother is Thai. But um, they live in Sydney before they came over to England. Oh no, that connection too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, basically, um, my mom fell pregnant with me, like with, in 1985, and then she gave birth and whatever, and then. She, some reason she made a decision to left me in Thailand with her foster family for them to brought me up because she wanted to make a life for herself first in England with my dad. So, but she wanted to rebuild everything first. So I got um, I don't know why, how come, but then I had I got four older sisters that they came over to England with my parent. So the only me left in Thailand with all this like not not a random foster family, it's like a friend of the family, so I kind of brought up knowing 
but then I loved them like my own family and then by the age of 12 they came over and brought me over but then between that 12 year I hardly see them but I know of them, they're my family but I don't really have that connection like even with my, with my sister we like all, a lot older than me like the oldest one is like almost 40 and then I'm still quite young and just like a big gap and stuff like that and but then from that from the age of 12 I try to questioning I'll try to ask my parents what the whole reason is and but they don't give me a straightforward answer of what everything is. So that kinda of like always be in my mind questioning how you if you love you said you love someone so much how you could leave someone that you love, especially like three month old baby in Thailand with the the in the church. It's hard in Asian tradition and Asian families to actually talk about these mm -hmm. kind of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really hard to express your feelings. Even sometimes so as your parents, like I see friends, French people, who, you know, when they say bye to their mother, to their father, it's like, bye mom, I love you. Mm -hmm. and it's just very hard. I, me and my mom never have like that. physical mm -hmm. contact, like hooking or yeah, this. We, 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 we never do it, even there my is family. It's like distance. distance. <laughs> it's, it's very, yeah. it's very um, profound, both of your approach to the collections. It's no wonder you could break up a relationship to see. I have to. I have to. I need to experience everything before I actually do anything. Like, I don't know what breaking up with someone feels like, so I have to do it. And then it's really difficult, but I have a worse experience in that, so I could, you know, I could do it. But, but then it's now I know what it feels like, so I, I don't want to kind of like do it again, but then <laughs> you need to do it because everything kind of goes in a cycle. At least you did it when you were young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not like when you get married. Just yeah, I, and have children. Have children. That's not what.